Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, I did an unboxing on this Fractal Torrent Nano. We're gonna do Fractal Torrent Nano Snow Edition, all white. I'm gonna end up putting a 3070, or is this a 3070 Ti? This is, this is a big power supply. So I have Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. I already popped a 5800 on there, Ryzen 58X. There's one terabyte in there, 16 gigs of DDR4-3600. These boards, I love them. They're so nice to work with. It's got a heat shield on the back. You can put a secondary M.2 back there if you feel you want to do that. If I add something, I think what I'm going to add is probably an additional, maybe a one or a two terabyte a Samsung SSD. Something that's decent. Very nice looking board. It's got plenty of support to it. The memory bank, fully covered metal support same goes for the PCIe x16 it has cooling right above where the m.2 is there's if you if you've seen the the, the uh, if you've seen the unboxing then you know there's a 180 millimeter in here but I didn't get the one and if I would have got the one that has RGB up front where you can even notice there's a 180 in there I would have uh, gone with that and I would have went air cooling hey how's everybody doing tonight well long story short is I'm cutting in with a little edit on that fractal torrent for one reason only is I did say I was gonna put a 3070 in it and I did say I was gonna put a custom water loop neither one of those things happen after even having a hard time falling asleep last night I just I decided I, I'm, I'm gonna build one so what I did is I've got an alpha cool it's a chrome 2600 rpm windowed cooling block CPU block with a EK radiator I ended up putting a cooler master 120 millimeter ARGB fan on here because I did find where there was a plug on the board unfortunately and so I decided well I can kill two birds with one stone. I can bring you over to it. Okay, so as you can see, I put the 180 millimeter fan back in. This fan is going to be pushing air in. It's 180 millimeters. It's quite big versus the 120 that's going to pull air out. But with the bottom open and the um, power supply, I'm hoping that it balances out and I get a good even air through, through and through. So on that note, I'm going to just show you guys how pretty much what I did here real quick. We're going to get this thing installed we're gonna get it fired up make sure it runs and I'm just I, I like I said my OCD got the best of me so I, I ended up picking up some wired well it's got wire around it I changed the size of the fittings the radiator is pure copper I didn't want to put an aluminum because this is copper to copper I was gonna do the whole thing on how, how it was built basically I took alpha cooler alpha cool fittings put them on pretty basic I cut the hose to fit and it is what it is so in the future if you guys want to see how one is built from scratch I've done some in the past but I'm really a lot better at what goes into doing it now so if that's something you're interested in uh, I'll be happy to do it so as you can see in this pump you can see the motor down in there so first thing I want to do is fill the pump up with water and it also has a mixture in it an additive so it won't it won't corrode so hopefully when I add the power it's a tw it's 12 volt usb to a two pin because it just makes it 100 percent 12 volt full full speed ahead <laughs> and um, um i hope it doesn't come squirting out the top so you just kind of wiggle it on there give it a little wiggle the lights on and it's dry you never want to pump to spin without water in it and another thing you always want to be very careful with is your o-rings you want to put a new one in there that one floated to the top which means it's a little loose what you want to do is let it run and let the air get out of it i've got to flip it around a little bit okay so that wraps it up on this part next time we see this it'll be on and running computer okay well that's about as close as i can get this okay, so we've got two lined up okay i can see we're just gonna need a tiny bit of persuasion everything looks pretty good everything took okay so what are we left with folks get her up and running everything looks copacetic one thing i learned a long time ago is always be prepared always have enough argb okay so that one's in okay now 3070 is the same size as a 3080 practically and if you're gonna use it in oc mode restart it you just can't put it in oc mode while the game is running and expect to get better frames or more power it doesn't work that way okay people moment of truth i'll throw the cover on yeah 
So a little bit of light. Whoa, it's knotted. It is a post. Windows up. I see no leaking. Watch HW monitor for a minute. EPU fans are spinning good. You can always tell the pump's on, the light's on. Too bad you can't look from the top to see that window. Bummer. EPU temps idle. Working its way up to 30. Watch it stands steady at 27.5. Holy mackerel, this baby runs cool. It's a lot cooler than the one on the EVGA. And fans at 600 and the baby moves some air. There's some air coming out of there as well. It looks good. Ryzen 7 5800X. 28.3 max. 27, 28. Temperature of all three, which is we have 28, 82 Fahrenheit, 27.9, 82 Fahrenheit. Edge temperature is always a lot higher. EPU temperature is 27.8 Celsius, 27.6 Celsius, 32.5 Celsius. Good temperatures. Okay, so there you have it. Living proof that a custom water loop will run cooler. Let's not forget we're running on one radiator here. One 120. Not even warm. It's still cold. Hands are quiet. I like the natural orange color. It goes good with it. I'll leave it up to whoever buys it. Do what they want with it. Okay. So on that note, when this does get video edited, it's going to jump from one part of the video right into where I did this direction, the way I wanted to do it. So there we have it. Nice rig. Got to get a basic price on it. I'm going to go for MSRP. Just want to cover my expenses and shipping. All yours after that. Everybody, thanks for being here. I love doing these videos. I really appreciate it. Give me some more input. I'm always here. Any questions, I will answer them. You know that. So... Time to go get something to eat. Have a nice rest of your week. So.